Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today is going to be a video on some Xcode programming to make an application I like to call iCopy. So first of all, you want to open up your Xcode application. You have to have Xcode installed, and it should be the latest version. Then you want to go up to File, New Project. I right, click under Mac OS X Applications, Cocoa Application. Now I'm going to save it to iCopy. Okay. So now I can just, um, under iCopy, I can just open mainmenu.xib to edit the interface. So here's my interface builder. An interface builder has a library window on the left, an attributes window on the right, a dock window, and a, um, a main menu. Actually, these might be reversed, and they might just be in any random position, but um, please ignore that. But to get any of these windows, if they're not up, go under the... Um, tools menu and then click library or inspector okay so now the stock window will go under other windows as you can see so you just keep it, it, it keep track of it so now if you click the window thing in the dock window you can edit the properties for the window and I'm just gonna call it I copy uh, that's the title of the window under resize I'm gonna uncheck that and I'm gonna make it textured okay now now I'm gonna go into my library and find a text field that looks like this and I'm gonna make two copies of it you can just drag it on twice and now I'm gonna find the um, button and I'm gonna drag it on put it in the middle and I'm gonna make this say I clear now I'm gonna resize the window to be perfect okay so now now we have our interface so we're gonna go up to file save now we're gonna go up to interface builder quit interface builder so now we want to click on the classes folder on the left and then under action we say add new file and then under Mac OS X we select Coco Objective C class we're gonna call it app controller dot M and I'll hit finish now it's under classes and if it's not under classes just drag it into classes now we click on app controller dot H now what we're gonna type here inside of this thing that says at interface app controller right here is IB outlet space NS text field space star or asterisk text one we're just gonna copy this line and paste it there again and we're gonna change text one to text two on that next line so now we have two IB outlets then under this little closed curly brace we're gonna type dash space parenthesis IB action close parenthesis now we're gonna say text one done colon then open parenthesis ID close parenthesis semi or sender semicolon now we're gonna hit enter we're just gonna copy that line again except we're gonna change text one done to text two done okay so now um, what we want to do is we're gonna create another third IB action and instead of text one done or text two done whatever you've copied we're gonna change that to say clear okay so it's gonna say clear click actually we're gonna do clear click so now we just wanna copy these two three IB actions and now we can save the .h file save now I'll click .m we'll paste it inside of the implementation and we're gonna get rid of the semicolons and add curly braces to each one like so I will have this whole Xcode project up for download in the description of this video. So now, in text one done, we're going to type some code. Inside of here, we're going to type left bracket, text, two, space, set, text, colon. Okay, now we're going to do another bracket, text, one, space, string, value. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean set text, I mean set string value. Okay, so that's what I mean. Okay, so now we're going to do another closed bracket there. So this is our final code for this. Okay, so now we're going to go with text 2 done. We're going to copy and paste this code we put in there, except we're going to replace text 2 with text 1 and text 1 with text 2. So it looks like this. Now under clear click, we're going to say text 
one space set string value colon at quote quote and inside of the two quotes we're going to type nothing then we're going to do close bracket we're going to copy that line again and replace text on with text two so this way our clear will clear both text boxes text two will set text one string value to text two string value etc so now we want to go back into the main project right here now we select main menu.xib one more time to launch interface builder so now we want to in the library find this blue box called ns object and we drag this into our dock window now we click the object we go under this little eye thing and under class we're gonna set that class to app controller which we made earlier so now here we have app controller so now the eye clear button we're gonna click it hold control and down, drag it down to app controller now we're gonna say clear click we're gonna take app controller drag it up to the first text box and we're gonna say text one click control second text box text two now um, now we say click control from the first text box down to app controller we say text one done and then the same thing with the second text box except we're gonna click text two done okay so now we've done all our little link ups so now I can save this one more time save and now I can quit interface builder so now if I click build and go hopefully it'll work properly let's just wait so now if I type something in here like Alex and I hit enter the other box says Alex if I type something in here like Mac heads 101 and I hit enter this box is Mac heads 101 now I can also type something in here like hello and then click this box and this box will also say hello I can click I clear to clear now say I don't want this effect where if you just click somewhere else it immediately changes the text all I have to do is go back into my main menu.xib file and then select each first I'm gonna select the, the first text box the text field sorry and now under the um, first tab we're going to um, go under action we're gonna say sent on enter only and we're going to do that with the second text field too and this will have the effect that um let me just demonstrate it to you if you do this and then you click this it won't change the text of this only if you hit enter on this will it change the text so if I type hello okay but it doesn't matter if you click somewhere else I personally like the first one more and maybe in more advanced programmings I'll show you guys a delegate that lets you do it so whenever you press a key in one it changes the text in the other but now I clear will still work and stuff like that so that's how to make I copy in Xcode and right now just to prove to you guys that I will put this functional Xcode project online here's the folder I'm just gonna right click it and say compress and I'm going to upload this to our website and have a link to download it in the description of this video. So thanks for watching Mackins and Nolan. Um, please subscribe to our videos. It supports us completely. And goodbye.